Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Pokemon TCG Infernape V box. This box is brand new. I did purchase it for less than MSRP from Game Nerds for $14.97. MSRP for this box, $19.99. Because I was able to get this box a little bit of a deal, I actually have two boxes to open up in this video. So eight total packs will be opened up in this video. So each box does include four booster packs, an oversized Infernite V, a regular size Infernite V, a special hollow empoleon and then a tcg live code card and this is another reminder do not go to target or walmart or gamestop anywhere like that to buy products like this they're going to price gouge you and you're looking at 21 22 23 dollars i would just save up and spend maybe 75 dollars more at game nerds get free shipping that's the way to do it so i'll flip over the box and it shows what's exactly on the inside, like I talked about. A very vivid colored box. Pretty cool colors, actually. Orange and red. Of course, the flame colors for Infernape. We'll open up one box at a time. That way, you'll get to see the pull rates for each box. Ideally, I would get one good pull in each box. Now, Fusion Strike, unfortunately, in this box. But the other packs are a little bit better. So, two of the newest set. This box was actually released on the official date, release date of Lost Origin. I think that was what? September, I have my cheat sheet here, 9th. September 9th, 2022. So bear with me here. I'll take everything out. And then in box two, I'll just go right to opening the booster packs. All right. And this is a box that I would recommend if you're not sure what to buy. At least you are guaranteed in a box like this to get an Infernape V, a Black Star promo. So there's a look at it. Meteor Punch in Bright Flame. Flip a coin until you get Tails. This attack does 30 damage for each heads. And Bright Flame, 200 damage for three energy cards. So not very competitive, but it, it is nice to add another Pokemon V to my collection. So here's a better look at the Infernape V. SWSH 252 for the card number, and of course, Silver Tempest coming out in November. That should be the final Sword and Shield series set. Then we're moving on to Scarlet and Violet. Here is the special hollow of Empoleon. Love the hollow foil pattern on it. I'll give away the code card TCG Live for the Infernate V Box. And then the four booster packs on the inside. To the newest set, like I mentioned in Lost Origin, there's Fusion Strike, which is the largest set of all time, but has terrible pull rates, and then Astro Radiance. I had a good question recently on one of my videos. What set do you like best of the newest three sets in Astro Radiance, Brilliant Stars, and Lost Origin? All three have that Trainer Gallery subset, which I absolutely love. I might give a slight nod to Lost Origin just because of all the very cool cards in the Trainer Gallery subset. Of course, Brilliant Stars has a couple of Charizard cards that it will be a very collectible set as well. You can actually find all three of those sets, products for those sets pretty cheaply online. Just saw an Astro Radiance build and battle box for $11.97, I think. You get some pretty good deals. So Fusion Strike here, November 12th, 2021. So almost a year ago now this set was released. Heliops Tile starts the very first pack. Wooloo. Gossifleur. Mudkip. Everyone likes Mudkip. Sandshrew. Water-type energy. Shauna. Primeape. Barascuda. Reverse Hollow of an Eevee. Just say common. Final card would be a Lucario V. So there is the one for one so far, but hopefully at least a one out of four pull from this box. Now, of course, Fusion Strike introduced those Fusion Strike Pokemon. I know v me, Mew VMAX is from this set, is reprinted in the Trainer Gallery subset in Lost Origin. All right, let's move on to Astral Radiance. I can move my cheat sheet to Astral Radiance. If you are short on time, I will 
summarize all of my good pulls at the end of the video if you want to jump ahead to that. I don't know. I know some people do prefer a little quicker style opening, sort of those bulk pack openers where they just go quickly through the pack, show the rare, and move on to the next one. All right. So Astro Radiance here, May 27th, 2022, the official release date. Drifloon starts this one. Psyduck, Togepi, Magnemite, skipped a very important Ralts, Grass type Energy, Hisuian Overquill, Kamado, Noctowl, Reverse Hall of a Togekiss. Is this a rare? Yes, it is. And then the final card would be a Hisuian Braviary. Two cards to summarize so far. I'm actually recording this video a little later at night than I normally do, and it's during a weekday as well. Carla, me, and I just got a half done going on a walk. We have a park about a half block from our house. We went over there, and Mia likes to go on the swing, and then she was crawling around on the playground. All right, Lost Origin here, the newest set in the TCG. Blip Bug starts this one. Finneon. This was one of the pre-release promo cards. Zorua, Paris, Inke, Darkness Type Energy, Haunter, Poliwhirl, Lickalicky, Reverse Hollow of a Misfortune Sisters, an uncommon. This would be the spot for either Radiant Pokemon or Trainer Gallery subset cards. And then the final card would be a Rhyperior. Several Pikachu related cards in the Trainer Gallery subset. There's that Mew V Max, like I was talking about, there's a Charizard and Leon. It is crazy. I've opened at least 100 packs, I would say, of Lost Origin to date and still have not pulled any of the cards that I really, really want from the set. But all it takes is one pack to change that. Machop starts the final pack in box one. Pikachu. Phantom. Pseudoto. Electrike. Grass-type Energy. Lost Vacuum, of course, the Lost Zone reintroduced in this set. You can tell any card that talks about the Lost Zone has those colors around the artwork of the card. Silcoon. Lady would be the supporter in the pack. Reverse Hollow of a Magirna, which is a rare. Not bad, two rare Reverse Hollows out of four packs. And then the final card would be a Parasect. And those Trainer Gallery subset cards, about one in seven booster packs. So three decent pulls from box one. You pull that Lucario V to start the box, and then two rare reverse hollows. So let's move on to box number two. Let's see what happens in this one. Like I said, I'll go right to the booster packs. Everything else in the box is the same, except for, of course, the TCG Live code, just unlocking a different box. I'll keep that one for myself, at least for now. Normally, I do prefer water-type starters. Of course, my favorite Pokemon of all time, Charizard. That is a fire-type starter. Infernape is pretty cool, so the exact same packs in this one. I'll open them up in the same order, starting with that... Fusion Strike, Genesec V in this set is pretty good. Would not mind pulling a Genesect V out. Alternate arts available in this set. So you have the Trainer Gallery subset cards, you have the alternate arts. If I do pull anything very valuable, I will head over to the TCG Player Price Guide, take a look and see what the card is worth. Vulpix to start this box. Chansey. Galarian Zigzagoon, bringing back my Eternatus VMAX days. Mankey, Clauncher, Grass-type Energy, Diggersby, Sydney, Cross Switcher, a very good trainer card. You have to play two of these at the same time. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. If you do, switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Very similar to Guzma. Reverse all of a Steelix, which... Doing very well with the rare Reverse Hollows, another one. 
And the final card, look at that. There we go, that made the opening a rainbow rare of Elisa Sparkle. This card says, choose up to two of your Fusion Strike Pokemon. For each of those Pokemon, search your deck for a Fusion Strike Energy card and attach it to that Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. So anytime I can pull a secret rare from a pack, that is a win and a very good box overall. And for a set that has not done very well for me in Fusion Strike, both boxes, the Fusion Strike pack, having an ultra rare or better. All right, let's move on to Astral Radiance. I actually like the artwork on the Astral Radiance cards quite well. See if we can go two for two. That's a good sign. At least a rare hollow. I personally don't like the two different versions of the code cards. It does ruin some fun a little bit. Let's see what happens in this pack. Heracross starts it. Teddy Ursa. Mantine. Voltorb. Basculin. Water type energy. Shield on. Uxie. Overquill. Reverse solo of another Overquill, a different one. This would be a rare. And then the final card, a Glade, a rare hollow. So not bad there. I'll set this one aside. I would say a majority of people prefer Gardevoir to Glade. I know I've had a lot of success in the past competitively with Gardevoir cards. All right, on to the two Lost Origin Booster Packs. This would make the evening for sure if I pull out one of the chase cards at least for myself from the trainer gallery subset about one in seven packs like I said I've opened up four packs of lost origin when this video concludes so there is some potential to pull either a radiant Pokemon or a trainer gallery subset card Makuhita starts the pack Phantom Basculin Inkay Paris Fighting type energy, Silcoon, Lady, Lampant, Reverse Solo of a Shellos, a Common, and the final card, a Porygon Z. So wish me some luck on this final pack. Hoping for some last pack magic. Enamorous on the cover artwork design of this pack. And Enamorous, the first set it was in, would be Lost Origin. Hoping for one of those chase cards. At least for myself, that Trainer Gallery subset. The cards aren't worth a lot, but they're so cool looking. Pikachu and Red, Charizard and Leon of Mew V Max. Blitbug starts the final pack. Finneon, Zorua, Paris, Inkay, Fire Type Energy, Carbink, Nuzleaf, Relicanth. Reverse Solo of an Arc Phone. So the search continues for some of those Trainer Gallery subset cards. This would be an Uncommon. And the final card. So close to having an amazing box with three out of the four packs. Having the necessary code card color. But a rare hollow in a Gengar. This card's ability. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put it on your bench. If you do, put three damage counters on on this Pokemon, and then put two damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So it's pretty cool that you can just go ahead and get Gengar from your discard pile and put it onto your bench. It does help a lot of times when you actually have damage spread around on some of your Pokemon. So give me a moment, and I'll summarize all of my good pulls. Really like that Rainbow Rare Trainer. It has been a good couple of boxes here with Infernape V. All right, lots of good cards to summarize from only eight packs. I was able to pull out four rare reverse hollows. So you're going 50% of the packs had a rare reverse hollow in them. Magirna, Togekiss, Steelix, and Hisuian Overquill. Two rare hollow in Gengar and Gallade. A Pokemon V in Lucario. So Fusion Strike treated me very well in this opening. 
and then the best pull of the opening, the toughest pull, the Rainbow Rare Elisa Sparkle. So very happy to have pulled this card. It definitely made this evening's opening. So thank you everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Easiest thing to do, leave a like. If you have any comments on this video, certainly leave them. I do try and answer all the comments on every single video that I post to YouTube. If you would like to support my channel even more, I have a Patreon. Patreon out there. I also have written a book on Pokemon cards. Both of those things you can find in the description of this video. I am hoping to do a live stream booster box opening this weekend of Lost Origins. So hopefully that will be the case. I'll try and get the thumbnail out there on Saturday. So you know that I'll be doing something on Sunday, more than likely in the evening. So thank you everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.